you guys were wondering what I got in the advent calendar so far, here's some of the guys, got this Eskimo, a few tables, nothing major, <laughs> I think that's meant to be a digger, like a little wind up toy digger, plane's pretty cool, cars and then this little guy just came in the latest one. Also something else I want to show you that I think is pretty cool is I got some of these decals made, so this one's on my MacBook here on this side, I figured if I'm going to be like resting my hand on there a lot to move around I'd rather it be there so I can actually see it and I won't like rub it and uh, risk breaking it but yeah I'm really happy with the way it turned out and it's really, it's really clean on here it goes well with the MacBook, the black colour I also got one made for my shaker which at the moment is incredibly dirty but I'm going to wash this up and put some BCAAs in it today What's going on guys, welcome back to another workout commentary I'm actually planning on doing two um, in this one video So there's going to be one at the end, which you'll see later And also this one So this one is just about the workout and like, how I approached it and what I did in it So first exercise you're seeing here, I did this kind of lying squat press or hack squat I think it's a hack squat because uh, I know that hack squats are upright I don't think this is just a lying down version of it but I always find that whenever I use this machine especially if I do like sets um, more than three and like reps higher than eight I always get off it and my legs just feel like jelly it's a very very useful machine for really fatiguing your legs and of course if you remember the uh, placement of your feet you can use it for kind of more isolation like leaning towards isolation for your hamstrings um, your glutes a little bit and definitely your quads so I was kind of going with a neutral stance so keeping my feet kind of equal just so I could get an overall pump and I really felt it so give that one a go if you've got that somewhere in your gym after that I went on to a superset of um, two hamstring exercises uh, they were actually on the same machine so I would call it a compound set rather than a superset because it um, is the same muscle group so Compound set, you can do the same muscle group twice, but different muscles, so I'm kind of doing that here because the hamstring is made up of multiple muscles, um, and basically what I did here, I did I started off the superset by doing really close together uh, kind of foot placement. By doing it like this, if you think about it with a leg press and like leg movements, when it comes to targeting your quads, and I guess your hamstrings again, uh, the wider you go, the more it's going to do the inner, and the closer you have your legs, the more it's going to do the outer area, so did that for an overall pump on the hamstrings and I did a total of six sets of that doing the same number of reps for each one I'm not starting heavy and then going to a lighter weight well not purposely anyway I'll do as many reps as I can aiming for about 10 to 15 of the close foot placement one and then however your uh, hamstrings are feeling and however much you think you could do for the same number of reps for the different angle um, adjust the weight really however you feel you need to then went on to these one-legged um, dumbbell squats, did quite a light weight with this because I mistakenly did these after all my quad exercises and I actually did these second to last in the entire workout so if you're doing these um, and you want to get better at them, so me for instance because I never do these, um, I'd suggest putting it at the start of your workout, maybe not right at the start but definitely not after you've exhausted your quads with loads of other exercises but all in all pretty good exercise, remember to push through the heel just like with any quad exercise and then finally here you're seeing a calf machine that I never used, it was called like free motion. Uh, there's some good things about this machine because obviously um, more muscle fibers are kind of recruited because of how free flowing it is. It's like the difference between using a barbell and using a dumbbell because you've got to kind of stabilize it a lot more. There's a lot more muscles being used there but uh, doing slow eccentrics definitely is just so difficult because you can actually notice my feet shaking here a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. Thanks for listening to this commentary. Stay tuned for the rest of the video and the next commentary. And I'll talk to you guys again in a bit. Alright, so this is what I have to do after every leg day now. I come into the car and I've got to take these off. And then put whatever shoes I actually brought to drive in on. Because these are a son of a bitch to try and drive in. Workout was very good. I'm really in the mood of like um, going in the gym and trying like as many new things as I can. Um, pretty much like from now on, but like after doing deadlifts, knowing that I could do those and actually lifted heavier than I thought I could, considering my back uh, injury as well. 
Yeah, I'm just going in there and I actually wrote down um, a list of exercises that I want to do. I might have already said this, I'm not sure. But yeah, I did a couple in there today. I did a machine I've never done, which also is something that I want to do. I want to go in that gym and use every machine that they've got just because I've been coming here a few months and I feel like I might as well make the most of like the equipment that is in here but might not be in other gyms. Um, you know, just seize the opportunity. So I tried the calf one today and it literally felt like the clutch and like brake in a car. It literally felt like those pedals because they were, I think it was like free motion, so a lot more muscle fibers being involved. Um, yeah, it was really hard to control the weight, but yeah, that was good. And I also did the one legged squat uh, with the dumbbells, which absolutely killed. And I should have done those first because after the other quad exercises, I basically couldn't walk. So yeah, just gonna either go home now or I'm gonna go to these shops and get some stuff that I need to get. I always forget where I park around here. My mission complete. I did only come in here for one, I promise you, but I haven't had these for like a week. I would like to say that I haven't had an energy drink for a week, but I've just not had one stuff for like a week, so. I've got four, I'm not gonna wrap these up, and I didn't buy wrapping paper either, but that's only because I realized that my mum's probably got like three rolls that I could actually use, so. Didn't bother wasting my money, but yeah, gonna go home, refrigerate three of these, drink one of these, and play something, but I'm gonna show you what that is. Oh my god, nice parking, mate. Someone closed me in so much. God damn it. I'm happy though, I've got my monster. I was actually walking around there looking at like the other aisles of all the like bad food. Um, Give me a lot of ideas for the 10,000 calorie challenge as well as fast food, of course, but with Regards to that, um, I think I did say that I was going to do it at the end of this series and I was going to make it the 20, 20th episode but I feel like there's a lot more stuff that I should cover in the bulking series with regards to like bulking and you know things that might help you guys that are bulking as well so yeah I think I'm going to do 5 more episodes and then yeah I'm going to do the 10,000 calories after that so what would have been the 26th episode also with the uh, topic of the competing I gave it some thought and I think I'm either going to compete in the UK UP which is the UK Ultimate Physiques um, Federation and I'm going to do the there's a like beginners first time competing uh, class in November so between 16 and 23 or 21 year olds or there's a different federation which is the UK Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation um, same competition or very similar again maybe the age range might be a little bit different but it's still first time competitors um, but that one is in July so I feel like I should be going for the later one so I have more time to gain muscle really you want to be bulking for as long as you can especially at quite a young age which I still am so still want to give it some thought but I think that's what I'm going to go with Boom, gonna play a bit of this Dead Rising 4. This is the game that I told you about. Um, I really like the previous one of this, but the only thing about this one, uh, this one's very good by the way. Um, there's no like free roam kind of theme to it, which, well, not that I've found yet, so if you were thinking of buying this, that's something to bear in mind. But there is, however, multiplayer on this one, which there wasn't on the others. I never played number one, but Played two, played three. Uh, didn't really like two, really liked three. That was probably my favourite one. But this one, really enjoying this one so far. I've only played like one mission. So yeah, I'm gonna play a little bit of this. So if you're thinking of getting it, multiplayer is on it, and that's pretty good. Um, four player co op games where you go through like these kind of horde defending. Like you have to basically go out, kill loads of zombies, complete a mission and come back but it's not like story mode missions it's just like little random things like go get this from here and then bring it back to the safe house but yeah I didn't even realize um when I got it that it's actually it's kind of like Christmas based um I guess it would be because it came out in December like it literally came out a few days ago so although there's zombies in it it's kind of getting me in the mood for Christmas a bit more all right quick update what I said before about there not being any free roam I was actually wrong about that um, it's just a new layout of the missions. Like, I think you can select the mission if you want to go back and maybe do collectibles and stuff like that. So ignore what I said before when I was saying that there was no free roam. So 
yeah, it's probably the best one that I've played so far, knowing that there is free roam and there's multiplayer, so good game. I also really want to show you what I'm actually doing on it right now, but I don't want to be the person that spoils it for you if you are going to get it, so <laughs> I can't resist the urge. It's just really funny what I'm doing right now. I do not condone what I'm about to do. I would not suggest it. <laughs> There's a lot of caffeine in this. Um, because this is the first time I've done it, I'm only going to put like a splash of the monster in it and then probably half a scoop of the BPR Sports pre-workout just because um, if I put too much in there, you know, I don't want to risk whatever could happen. So I really just want to see what it tastes like because this is kind of like a lemonade-y uh, flavour and then this is... Again, lemons, but it's also got blueberries and it just kind of has its own unique taste. So, yeah, I'm going to try that today for a pre-workout. Alright guys, welcome back to the workout commentary. Um, today it was a lone chest workout, chest and arms, so I figured it would be the prime opportunity for me to do what I keep saying that I'm going to do and use the squat rack to bench, um, only because I'm on my own and it's basically so that I have a piece of metal spotting me because if you notice the bars either side of me is slightly above my chest um, which has the added benefit that if I do push myself to the absolute limit when I'm on my own so when I'm lifting heavy definitely um, and I can't drop the weight in front of me or anything like that the bars will catch it so that I don't have to um, you know fear going too heavy and really pushing myself but there is although some downsides to this I've found if you notice how far the bar is off my chest when I'm doing each rep, it's roughly like an inch above and although that could be worse, I did feel like I was doing partial reps and that's why I actually managed to get like more reps or at least one more rep than I usually would. It could be that I gained strength but I felt that it was more that uh, I was, my reps weren't getting low enough so if you're going to do that, bear that in mind. But other than that, uh, it's a great way to uh, bench if you don't have a spot there especially if you really want to go out of your comfort zone and just push as much weight as you can. I'm actually thinking of maybe next time I do this, um, putting a plate on either side of the bench just to elevate it that extra inch so that the bars either side are that bit lower that I can actually bring the bar to my chest like I normally would if I didn't have those bars there. Um, and yes, this means that it would land on my rib cage if I did um, fail the rep, but even if you did fail the rep, you're not going to like fully drop it unless like, it's slipped out of your hands. You're just going to like lower it slowly and just won't be able to get it up. So as long as you're not actually crushing yourself or like putting your body in any kind of danger, uh, I think that's the only way to really get around that. So I might try that next time. Right, what's up, guys? Just completed the workout. Did chest and arms. Um, went for three exercises on chest today rather than four because I'm a bit close, um, a bit short on time. So. I've actually got the chiropractor in like 20 minutes, so I kind of let the workout run a bit long anyway, so I'm going to conclude the video here. Probably going to do a commentary over the bench work that I just did in there, because I actually I finally used the squat rack um, with like the bars to catch the bar for me. Um, yeah, it obviously didn't land on my chest because you would have seen, but it still felt a little bit better, but there were some, some things about it that I didn't like, so yeah. Going to leave the video here. Hope you guys like this latest vlog. Hope you like the information in it. And yeah, off to the car for now. Hopefully my back will have some kind of good news. So I'll see you guys next video.